Hi, and thanks for tuning in today. This is Dr. K.O. Rich with Veterans in Christ. Thanks for tuning in today. I got to turn my thing down. <laughs> oh, this, thanks for tuning in today. This is Veterans in Christ with your host, Dr. K.O. Rich, and we are trying to start back up with our Veterans in Christ podcast. Um, Today is Tuesday, October the 1st of 2024. And you'll be able to listen to this podcast every Tuesday and every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Central on various platforms. You can choose the platform of your choice. However, uh, if you're not able to tune in at that time, the good thing about it is that you can always catch this podcast in the archives. Now, this podcast is going to be giving you that spiritual food that you need, as well as giving you information regarding whether it's VA benefits, uh, um, the latest news pertaining to active duty. Uh, We're going to give you a lot of different things when it comes to mental health and other issues. So uh, you definitely want to tune in and also please share this podcast if you have not uh, uh, been able to uh, find a podcast that may pertain, maybe pertains to your particular situation and you're a veteran or you someone that's active duty, then guess what? This is the podcast for you. Today, we're going to start off, um, as always, we're going to start off with the Word of God. And before we begin, I just want to um, just pray for all the veterans, all the active duty military, our first responders and different ones. And pray that God covers you. There's so many things that's going on in today's time, and we definitely need that prayer. And I, I want to use this um, this background song that I often use on my It Is Finished podcast that comes on every uh, Wednesday and every Sunday. But uh, I want to just use this for on this podcast as well, because prayer is the best weapon that we have have against the enemy, whereas in the military, we use guns and and uh, other types of ammunition. But in the word, when it comes to the word of God, it lets us know that prayer is our best weapon. So let's open up this morning with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father God, I just thank you, God, for allowing us to come before your presence this morning. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for loving us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Thank you for the opportunity the opportunity that we have had to serve not only in the military in our in our in our nation, Lord, but we also we're glad that we can serve in your military, in your army. We thank you, Lord, that you are our chief commander. We thank you, you are our commanding officer. We thank you that we can always follow you and know that we would never go in the wrong direction because you are leading and you are guiding us, Lord. And so, Lord, we ask that you would give us a discernment that we will hear your voice, know your voice, and do not operate apart from your voice, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you would cover this, the military men and women that are on active duty and in reserves and our first responders, Lord. We ask that you would be with them, guide them, Lord, and deliver them from all harm, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you would be with the veterans right now, Lord, that they would take courage and know that even in their time away from the military, that they are still wonderful in your eyes, that they are still powerful in accordance with your word, and that they can still do a lot to help others, even though they're not on active duty right now. We just thank you, Lord, for just blessing us. 
us, covering us, and sustaining us, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that all who listen to this podcast will be blessed and know that you have a special place in your heart for them because you are God that knows and sees all and no one is insignificant, but we all are equally important in your heart. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name, Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank God. Amen. Amen. I pray that you all are having a lovely, lovely day. Hello, veterans. (laughs) <laughs> Hello, veterans. I am so happy to be coming to you once again. And again, my name is Dr. K. O. Rich, and I am a Navy veteran. And I am um, just honored and blessed to be able to come to you today. Um, today, I want to just um, come to you with um, some things. Uh, we're going to start off with the Word of God. Um, there's a lot that has been taking place in our um, in our world today. We're seeing a lot of things for us, disasters and all kinds of things that uh, are happening about the face of the world, including uh, the United States of America. And we just recently... Uh, we know about the hurricane and there's uh, there was a lot of loss of life and people lost their homes and so much has taken place. But we know that Jesus is still on the, on the throne. And so I want to come to you today from Mark chapter 4, Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through four, uh, 41. And it's talk, it talks about Jesus calming the storm because oftentimes in life, you're faced with different issues. If you're on active duty, uh, you you might have just joined the military and you might have you might be feeling that separation anxiety um, due to being away from friends and loved ones and family that you're used to you may uh, um, have uh, been put uh, been stationed somewhere that you're unfamiliar with however that may be a storm in your life you might say that you know this is my storm I'm not really sure how to navigate this I'm in unfamiliar territory I don't know anyone and but the thing is is that if you know Jesus then you have all that you need and he's going to um, help you navigate through it, whatever obstacle course that you may be going through in life. You may be a military family member. Your husband may be uh, uh, stationed abroad. Uh, uh, you might be uh, uh, the wife uh, and you're stationed abroad or whatever. You might have that separation. You might have children and, and you all are apart. But the thing is, is that you are not never alone. Everyone has a different storm. Veterans, you might say, you know, I'm in unfamiliar territory right now because I've been in the military and it's a different breed. It's a different uh, lifestyle when when you're in the military compared to civilian life. And you're probably saying, you know, where do I go from here? I feel a little lost right now. This is my storm. I don't know how to even calm this storm right now. But I want to take you to Mark chapter 4 where Jesus calms the storm. And in verse 35, it reads, That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. And, and so these disciples, they were on this boat. And while there was a storm um, brewing, uh, a, a terrible storm that was brewing, Jesus was sleeping peacefully. <laughs> he was sleeping peacefully in the boat and they had to go wake him and and they were wondering why aren't you in a panic why aren't you worried why aren't you <clears throat> excuse me why aren't you uh uh uh, frantic like we are, you know, we're about to drown here. But what they didn't understand 
was the creator of the universe was in the boat with them. They didn't understand that nothing could happen to him until it was his time. They didn't understand that while they were in his presence, that he had them covered. Okay, we are in the presence of God. That means that God has us covered and there's nothing that can happen uh, um, to us until he allows it. And it was not their time. It was not their time. It was not his time. And so therefore, Jesus spoke to the storm, quiet, be still. And sometimes you have to speak to your storm. So there are many, many storms that are brewing right now. There are many issues, many situations that many people are facing. It could be a diagnosis that was unfavorable. It could be something with your children. It could be something, you know, with regards to trying to get that promotion in the military and you 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 were having maybe to take a test to see if you get promoted. It, it could be any number of things. Veterans, you, you might be uh, one of the ones that's facing PTSD and that's your storm. Uh, there are so many different storms that can brew, whether you're in active duty status or you a veteran. But the thing is, we know that Jesus is the calm to our storm. And wherever the Bible lets us know where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And so therefore you can have liberty in Jesus. Many people think that, well, we're going to have liberty through guns and weapons and, and all kinds of other things. But our liberty as Christians and veterans in Christ, our liberty is in Jesus. I want to um, play a little cadence for you all, and I pray that uh, you will enjoy this cadence. <laughs> and um, his name is, I'm going to get his name again. His name is um, Michael, well, I'm going to get that name again. But anyway, it's Mama Mama Can't You See. Mama, mama, can't you see? Mama, mama, can't you see? What the army's done to me? What the army's done to me? Mama, mama, can't you see? Mama, mama, can't you see? What the army's done to me? What the army's done to me? Put me on a silver jet. Put me on a silver jet. And that's a right I won't forget. That's a right I won't forget. And put me on a silver jet. Put me on a silver jet. That's a right I won't forget. That's a right I won't forget. Whoa. Whoa.
And that is... And that is by Jonathan Michael Fleming. I was trying to find his name, Jonathan Michael Fleming. And he has a lot of cadences that's on YouTube. And I think he has um, um, a Spotify uh, channel as well. So you can listen and have a, a marathon of uh, cadences by um, Jonathan Michael Fleming. All right. All right. So today I want to... Due to us uh, uh, seeing everything that's taking place around the uh, the nation, uh, I want to talk about disaster assistance for veterans. Um, if you or someone you know has been um, affected by the disasters that are taking place, uh, there's a, a number that you can call um, uh, for VA dis uh, disaster assistance if you need help and you have questions on where to go. You can call one. 1-800-698-2411. That's six, uh, 1-800-MY-VA-411. Okay, it's 1-800-MY-VA-411 uh, uh, or in other words, 1-800-698-2411. One, one. And those that have been affected by the natural disasters, um, you can reach them by phone, uh, in order to talk to someone. Also, you can check into, um, any of the uh, VA facilities for healthcare. So if you've been using the healthcare with the VA and you might be a little displaced right now, not maybe in your normal, um, um, area, then, um, so you can also call the 1-800 number, um, the main number for VA, 1-800-827-1000. That's 1-800-827-1000 or try to contact your local VA in order to uh, get some help. There's also another number for VA Health Connect. And that is 1-855-697-0214. I want to give this information out because a lot of veterans are in need right now that have may, uh, that may have encountered, um, the, uh, uh some damage during the storm. Uh, uh, you can have the, uh, let me give you the Veterans Crisis Line. You can dial 988 or press 1. You can also text uh, 838-255. That's 838 838- Two five five. Now, if you are uh, if you are a veteran who um, need immediate housing assistance um, after this storm, you can call one eight seven seven four two four three eight three eight. That's one eight seven seven four two four three eight three eight. Another thing that's available for veterans is um, they have the VA specially adapted housing program that may be able to assist you in funding um, home repairs after the disaster. That's the VA specially adapted housing program. Call the 800 number to 1-800-827-1000. Tell them that you would like to get some information on the VA specially adapted housing program. Also, VA uh, can ask home home loan lenders to put a 90-day freeze on foreclosure or encourage uh, waiving late fees for VA home loans. And you can visit the VA home loans webpage to learn more about that. If you are um, if you are unable to receive a benefit payment after the disaster, uh, you have some questions about your compensation claims, uh, call 1-800-827-1000 to request a special one-time payment. You have to call that number to get information on that. That's compensation and claims. If you are unable to receive a benefit payment after a disaster, contact the VA National Call Center. Center at 
1000 to re to request a special one time payment um there's a special note that says that if natural disasters disrupt the timeliness of receiving your claims paperwork or gathering information from you you won't be penalized for subsequent mail delays you can also submit claims and upload other relevant information through your va.gov so if you were planning on submitting a compensation and pension claim and uh, uh, and you were kind of delayed. Don't uh, feel. Make sure you still um, go somewhere where you can upload that. Uh, whether it's faxing, whether it's uh, uh, through uh, quick submit. If you don't know what quick submit is, that's uh, you can type in quick submit on Google. If you have any medical evidence, any documents that you need to upload, so they can make a decision on a claim that you have um, uh, put an intent to file in, then you can upload it from there and they will get it just about immediately um pretty much immediately and they will send you notification that they have received it also employment if you're a displaced veteran and receive va employment services you may qualify for two additional months of the employee adjustment allowance. So if you are a displaced veteran, okay, and receive VA employment services, then you may qualify for two additional months of employee adjustment allowance. Again, you can contact your local VA regional office to speak with a uh, VRNE or otherwise known as Veteran Readiness and Employment Specialist to learn more. Another thing, when those who are uh, going to school, um, you're using your GI Bill. So if your school closes temporarily due to a disaster, the VA may continue payments. All right. So you want to speak to a GI Bill specialist. Um, the number to speak to them is 888 Four four two four five five one. That's one eight 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 four four two four five five one. And they are open uh, hours of, hours of operation are Monday through Friday, seven a.m. to six p.m. Central Standard Time. And you can talk to them about um, if you're using Chapter 33, that's the 911 or GI Bill or Chapter 35, Survivors and Dependents Educational Assistance Program, uh, whatever you're using, whether it's Montgomery GI Bill, Chapter 30. So whatever you're receiving, then they can talk to you about that. Another thing is um, insurance, insurance. So um, the VA assists those affected by a natural disaster through such options such as instant loan approval online and expedited same day processing for policy loans. In addition, um, they may expedite same day of processing and approval for withdrawals from dividend credit and deposit accounts, extension of premium premium payment grace period, um, extension of reinstatement deadlines, and processing death claims. Uh, you can call the VA Insurance Center at 1-800-669-8472. Another thing is be careful of fraud, okay? So you have predators that will use natural disasters and emergencies to commit frauds. Uh, they, uh, they'll create fake charities, uh, fake emergency loans. Um, they, they try to target veterans. So protect yourself. And if you have dealt with someone who has tried to commit fraud on you, call one 833 388-7233. That's 1-833-7... I'm sorry, 388-7233. That's 1-833-388-7233. Uh, or you can visit the VSAFE website. All right. Um, some other information that you may want to consider if you're having um, any issues with uh, th this disaster that just took place is um, 
United Way food programs and food benefit. And you can call 211, dial 211 for United Way if you need food assistance. Um, also the Red Cross, uh, 1-800-RED Cross or 1-800-733. 2767. There's also uh, services for veterans um, through American Red Cross and Veterans Assistance by texting um, get, let me make sure I get this right, get Hero Care, get G E T Hero H E R O Care, C A R E. You text that as one word to 90999. That's nine zero nine nine nine. Also, the Salvation Army. You can contact your local Salvation Army and also, and also to be able to um, get help. Um, in order to find a safe transportation route, if you are in need of that, 511-GA. That's 511-GA. All right. Uh, this is a lot of information um, for you. I want to just give you a few more numbers that you can contact uh, if you are in need of help. 1-800-MY-VA-411. That's 1-800-698-2411. You can also um, contact the Veterans Crisis Hotline by, tech, uh, by dialing 988 and press 1. Or you can text... Um, text 838-255, 838-255. Uh, also, the Homeless Veterans uh, Resource Center is 1877-424-3838, and you can schedule an appointment with them. All right, this is a lot of information here. Um, I pray that you all are able to um, use this information or pass it along, pass it along. If you know someone that's a veteran, that's in need of assistance, please pass it along. Now, some of these numbers may have been for Georgia veterans, but most of this is just for everyone and anyone who may need help. And if you find that this was for Georgia, um, um, a couple of these numbers, then ask them to give you uh, information to the main number so that uh, you can con so that you can talk to someone in your particular state. Again, the national uh, VA number is one eight hundred eight seven seven one thousand one eight hundred eight seven seven one thousand. Is it 1-800? Let me make sure I gave that to you, right? I think it's 1-800-827-1000. Let me make sure I gave that to you, right? That's 1-800-827-1000. It's 827-1000. That's 827-1000, not 877. That's 1-800-827-1000. All right, uh, we're, you know, on this particular podcast, we're going to be talking over the next, you know, while we're doing this podcast, we're going to be talking about a lot of different things when it comes to compensation and benefits. A lot of veterans are filing claims for benefits. They need help uh, with that. We're going to talk about a lot of different things to help um, active duty military, things that, and you might say, well, you know, I'm not a veteran yet. I'm still active duty. Let me just tell you, please listen to the information that we will be giving on this podcast podcast because one day, Lord willing, you will be a veteran. That means that once you enter the civilian world and, and hang up your uniform for good, you at that point become a veteran. All right. Uh, honorable discharge, a veteran. So therefore, you will need this information before you get out. Don't wait till you get out and then you're scrambling. Well, what do I need to do? Blah, blah, blah. I tell anyone, please do your research before, get all the information you need before, go to all your uh, medical exams before you get out. You would thank me later for telling you that. Any issues that you're having medically wise, do not put it off, get it documented. Any veteran that will tell you, get it documented, because if you don't get it documented, you may have a hard time um, getting those benefits that you may be entitled to uh, if you're trying to get disability claims later on. So it's best to always have everything in your medical record. And also keep a, uh, keep a copy 
of your medical record. Keep several copies of your DD-214. Veterans, if you if you have access to your DD-214s or you might have one land, if you might have one land around somewhere, make copies of it. You may not always be able to order a copy right away if you need it. Make sure you have several copies. Uh, one of the things that uh, we were told when I got out, um, and this was back in 96, uh, we were told to go register it with the courthouse. And um, I'm not sure if, they, you know, if, if they're still doing that, do make sure you do that. Go register it with the courthouse. And if you ever need it, you can go to your local courthouse and get a copy uh, of it at any time. They will have it on a microfiche. And therefore, uh, you can always have access to that. I need to find out um, if you like if you were to move states um, or move into a different state, if you can um, register your DD-214 with any state. That's something I find out because I've never asked that. Because like I have mine registered um, on a microfiche. It's, it, it's with... Um, in Illinois, but I'm a <clears throat> now I'm a Georgia resident, and so I need to find out um, what do I need to do about that. But you no, know, one of the things make sure that you also keep copies yourself. Keep them on even on um in in, in um, cyberspace so that if you need to get a copy of your um, DD two fourteen, that you will have access to it wherever you are. All right. We are about it here today, and I pray that this information that we have given to you has been very handy, and it will help you and or someone you know. So you might say, well, I don't need this information, but if you know someone else who is a veteran, please share this podcast with others, because we're going to be uh, talking about a lot of information as it pertains to military life, veterans, um, families of veterans, and even first responders. So until next time.